What is up everybody, Kika06 back with another test video with a Ryzen 7 8700G. This time we are back to League of Legends, but before we get into that game, I wanted to let you guys know that the link to every single piece of hardware in this computer, as well as the link to my Discord, are going to be down, down below. Um, and there's a six and a half minute informational video at the end of this, like on the back half of the video, that, bi that basically tells you all the settings and all of the uh, defaults that I changed all the software I downloaded that you have to do for this uh, CPU to work the way you want it to. Um, as for the game, I know nothing about this game and if you watch the gameplay you're gonna find out why but what I do know is that the FPS back from when I tried it a year ago you're averaging right now about 50 FPS higher 50 to 60 FPS higher than what I was averaging a year ago when I took this exact same video. Um, I, if I remember right, I think I barely got above 200 FPS once or twice, maybe back in 2024 when this first came out, but now we're, we're well above that as you can see. My FPS monitoring software did not work on this game, so I just enhanced, like I really zoomed in in the bottom right. Um, the FPS reader that this game provides. So hopefully that'll be good enough for you and you can take a peek at it. But um, that's going to be it for me. I don't really have anything else to add because I know nothing about this game. But if there's anything else you guys want to see, whether in this game or a different game, feel free to put it in the comments below. And if possible, I will get to it. But that's it. I'm done talking. Have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next Let's video. Crack this case wide open. It's my business to know what others do not. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. A true professional is always aware of her surroundings. Oh, you're the is its people. Mind the trap. Killing spell. No stone left unturned. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. I'm back on the case, and this time I will not fail. Let's investigate. I will not tolerate lawlessness. Anything you say can and will. Executed. What is up, guys? If you made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you found them helpful. Up to over the past couple days, I have tested about 20 different games. And this is kind of the part where I just want to go over with you guys um, my settings and maybe go over an issue or two that I had. Uh, first off, this right here is called FPS Monitor. I got it off of Steam. I believe it was a couple bucks, but this is where I got all the information that was in, I think, all but one of the videos. And I think CS Counter-Strike 2, I think, did not take this. I don't remember. One of them didn't like it and it wouldn't work, but FPS monitor on steam. I think it was a couple bucks, but that is exactly what I used as for this. This is the adrenaline. This is the, um, AMD adrenaline app that you will need. If you are going to get the CPU or any of the G series from Ryzen. So hyper RX is, is well known for it being the best for FPS. It has the super res that was on fluid motion frames too. That was on anti-lag and boost. All of these were on, uh, you can go to quality and I think it's pretty comparable, but all based on my research, uh, hyper RX is definitely the one that you want to go to, um, for performance and you can get all these, you can have your own overlay. You can set it up here. I just didn't do that. Cause I liked the way the other one was formatted a little bit better. Um, here's the system right now. I have 32 gig of RAM installed. There's the Ryzen 7 8700G as advertised. So right now it says there's only 24 gig of RAM and I will tell you why right now. I went into the BIOS and changed the UMA frame buffer size to eight gig, which means, if, which means that I took eight gig of the physical RAM and turned it into VRAM for the APU um, so it would have more power. Um, I, with with 32 gig that gave us plenty of room since most of the games today did not even get over 20 gig usage of ram so that gave us some extra fps um so that's why i did it i allocated eight gig of ram and that's why right there uh, i had a question in my chat before that was asking me what version i was using of windows so there it is windows 11 home there's the version in the os build so the next thing that I wanted to show you was AMD Ryzen Master. This is where I go for basically, basically the overclocking really. So I set it on game mode, turned on precision boost overdrive. On top of that, I came down to sock voltage. So the GPU sock voltage was, uh, I set it to 1.275 and I will tell you exactly why. Once I got into the more demanding games like Halo and Warzone and Ark, I, the computer started just resetting on me and it would just, it would just reset and go right back to the login screen. So I did a little bit of research on Reddit and YouTube and I found one guy that said he had those same exact issues and he said that it was a voltage problem. So he raised it up to 1.275 volts and it worked uh, flawlessly and it was stable and he never had an issue again. I think if I remember right, it was on like 1.15 or 1.175, something like that. So he didn't raise it a crazy amount, but over the past seven, I believe, the past seven uh, games that I tested, zero issues and no issues, no uh, no criticals in the event viewer either. Uh, a couple other things in the BIOS, like I said, I allocated that VRAM. Um, I made sure that the resize bar was enabled. I set the F clock to 2500 and the U clock was at 3000 because I used 6000 megahertz RAM. And XMP was on for this, by the way, in case you were curious. Um, let's see what else I have for you guys before we go out. So that uh, FPS monitor app that I use, it showed the 1% and 0.1% lows. And I just want you to know that the first 20 to 30 seconds after I changed to a different um, graphical setting, it kind of resets that. So the first 20 to 30 seconds are not trustworthy. So if, if I switch over and you see, oh, it's only five... Uh, it's five FPS for a 1% low for 25 seconds. That's awful. It was not that bad, which is why it went from five. In most cases, it went from that five FPS or two FPS all the way up to 30 or 40. Uh, it just had to reset and it basically has to play catch up. Uh, one other thing I wanted you guys to understand, um, all of this testing was done on a 27 inch Asus Tough curved 1080p 165 Hertz monitor. The frames were um, basically the frames were uncapped if it was possible and if possible every single one of these games was done in full screen exclusive 
Um, and the last thing I wanted you guys to know is that all of the recording and all of the FPS monitoring software was done on the computer while playing the game. So I did go back and I played five to 10 of the games over again just to uh, see the difference in the FPS without having to run OBS and FPS monitor. And it came down to about a five to 13 FPS differential when the OBS and FPS were FPS monitor were turned off. When when the game was the only thing running, there was an increase of about 5 to 13 FPS on average. And I know that's kind of a very precise number and that's just exactly what it was. So, that is going to be it for me. If you have any other questions or if you want to see any other games, please feel free put them in the comments below and I will get to them. I plan on keeping this computer for a while. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Don't be safe, don't do anything stupid, and I will catch you guys on the next video.